Chad Hasty here, host of the Chad Hasty Show, which airs weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk, 95.1 FM and 7.90 a.m. KFYO in Lubbock, Texas. President Trump making big, big worldwide news after uh, dropping out of the Paris Climate Change Accords or the Paris Accords, the Climate Agreement, whatever you want to call it. Uh, President Trump announcing to everyone in the world that the United States was out. Uh, reading from CNN here, President Trump announced Thursday his decision to withdraw the United States from the Paris Climate Accord, the a, a sweeping step that fulfills a campaign promise while seriously dampening global efforts to curb global warming, according to CNN. Uh, Trump saying, quote, at what point does America get demeaned? At what point do they start laughing at us as a country? Trump asked during a uh, afternoon event there in the Rose Garden. Quote, we want fair treatment. We don't want other countries and other leaders to laugh at us anymore. Uh, Trump said that um, uh, he was elected by the citizens of Pittsburgh, not by Paris. Trump saying that we're, we're getting out of this deal. Uh, Trump said during the announcement uh, that uh, we will start to renegotiate and we'll see if there's a better deal. If we can, great. If we can't, that's fine. Uh, Trump said that uh, his announcement would end the implementation of carbon reduction targets set under Obama and stall all contributions to the United Nations Green Climate Fund, which Trump said was costing the United States a fortune. Trump then went on to say, again reading from CNN, as someone who cares deeply about our environment, I cannot in good conscience support a deal which punishes the United States. The Paris Accord is very unfair at the highest levels to the United States. Uh, the president uh, campaigned about this. Uh, uh, there are critics of uh, the Paris Climate Accords who say that it would have cost the U.S. jobs, it would have cost the U.S. too much money. And again, uh, you're entering into an agreement where the United States has to take the brunt of uh, the hit, while nations like China, Brazil, and others uh, really don't have to do anything until later on. Uh, now, the rest of the world is starting to weigh in on this. Leaders of Germany, France, and Italy telling President Trump uh, that the deal cannot be renegotiated. We'll see about that. We'll see what happens. Um, it'll be interesting to see if any other nations follow the United States here and decide to drop out of this accord and say, maybe there is a better deal that we can have. Trump is uh, moving the U.S. in a different direction. Maybe we can get a better deal with the U.S. leadership uh, that we are now seeing. Uh, remember, it was really Europe who developed this whole uh, climate change accord, um, and it did hurt the United States, in my opinion. Uh, in other people's opinions, hey, the United States needed to be punished, um, so uh, it was no big deal. Um, I will say this. Uh, you had uh, some people who uh, have, uh, have uh, started to say that uh, Trump was absolutely wrong uh, here in the U.S., uh, those people include former President Barack Obama, John Kerry, the Democrats. Uh, you had, uh, who was it, Fareed Zakaria, who says that uh, the U.S. now has resigned as leader of the free world. That's nice, Fareed Zakaria. Remember, is Fareed Zakaria who supported Barack Obama, uh, and you want to talk about a leadership void for the last eight years, I would argue that would have been President Obama. So what's my reaction to this? I think it's a great plan by the United States. I think it's a great plan by Donald Trump to say we're out. Now, remember, the U.S. is not completely out until 2020 because of how the deal works. So uh, this is going to be an ongoing process. It would not surprise me at all to see Donald Trump try and come up with another type of deal. Remember, both Ivanka Trump, his daughter, and Jared Kushner, his son-in-law, are big climate change people. Uh, Donald Trump says that uh, he wants to protect the environment. It would not surprise me to see some type of deal worked out uh, to where maybe the Paris Accords aren't uh, renegotiated, but maybe the Trump Accords are negotiated. Uh, we can see what happens on that front. Uh, President Trump was elected to protect the United States. Uh, when people knew what they were voting for when they went and voted for Trump. Uh, he had made no, uh, really, he had made no attempt to hide how he felt about the uh, Paris climate uh, agreements. Uh, he had campaigned numerous times on getting rid and dropping out of the Paris climate agreements. So this is uh, President Trump living up to another campaign promise 
uh, and one where he believes and many others believe it'll save jobs, it'll save taxpayer money, and it'll also save families a ton of money uh, moving into the future. Uh, all in all, I think this is a, a smart, mo uh, smart move by President Trump. Uh, President Trump didn't come out and say climate change isn't real for all you Democrats out there. Uh, Trump didn't say that. My, my One of my favorite reactions, though, hang on, let me uh, try to bring this up here, because uh, I posted this on Facebook. This is probably one of the best reactions. The ACLU, okay, uh, the ACLU sending out a tweet saying, pulling out of the Paris Agreement would be a massive step back for racial justice and an assault on communities of color across the United States. So climate change apparently is racist uh, and is uh, going to be an assault now on communities of color. Climate change. It's racist and it's going to kill us all. Tune in to the Chad Hasty Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time. News Talk 95.1 FM, 790 AM KFYO. Have a great day.